If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your FIFA Ultimate Team coins, check the link in the description and use the code ETANI to get 5% off. What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I know, I know, it's been such a long time. I want to apologize to everyone, all the supporters, everyone that views the videos every single week, every single day when I do upload. I just want to say to you guys that I really appreciate all your support. You guys have been amazing. This year, every single year, just been amazing guys so I really want to thank you I haven't thanked you enough throughout all this time that I've been doing YouTube I mean I can't thank you enough anyway but I have an announcement to make I have bought my own house in London so I'm in the process of actually moving so that is why things have been hectic I haven't been uploading it's just been crazy um, so yeah, it costs quite a bit, but <laughs> so I need to grind these videos out and I'm not even uploading. But yeah, guys, I really want to say that I really appreciate you. And um, that Ronaldo video, it's over a million views. It helped me get the house. So yeah, it made me afford the house. One million view video gets me the house. Now I'm only joking, but I just want to say thank you so much, guys. Really looking forward to foot birthday. And um, I have so many packs to open. I have like... 35 100k packs 15 50k packs ready for foot birthday from the two for one promotion that happened a couple of days ago today guys we are going to be looking at is this the second inform i think second inform lukaku who does have a blue card champions league card i'm pretty sure 86 pace 88 uh, shooting 80 passing 79 dribbling 38 defending and 90 physical guys now one thing i want to let you guys know is from these informs i don't normally do videos on but ea is starting to give them some pretty good upgrades some pretty nice stats have been upgraded usually it's like one on the pace one on defending and one on something that doesn't really care like you won't care much about a striker like it's passing so now they have been a bit more lenient with the inform upgrades if you look at the van dyke if you look at the this lukaku from this team of the week it's looking pretty good guys so maybe team of the week plays are going to be a bit more viable in the future so before I begin, make sure you check out G2A. Links will be in the description if you look to buy PSN cards, Microsoft points, or cheap PC games. All right, guys. This is the team we're using. I definitely wanted to try out David Luiz. I haven't actually, believe it or not, I haven't even tried out this uh, flashback David Luiz. Also, this Barkley I packed a couple of uh, weeks ago. Haven't tested them out. Firmino, amazing center attack in mid for me. Really like him. So Lukaku, we're probably going to put a Hunter card on him just to boost his pace 86 is not really that great for a striker unless you're ebra but we'll see anyway let us see what his stats look like six foot three medium medium work rates left footed and from the previous fifas um, i haven't tried him this year i think but from the previous fifas guys he he has some amazing left foot um amazing left foots he has amazing finesse shots <laughs> amazing left foots <laughs> anyway guys 78 acceleration 92 sprint speed 93 attack position 92 finishing 92 short power 77 long shots which is pretty good um 82 volleys 81 penalties now his passing stats are actually okay-ish for a striker 80 vision 82 crossing free kicks are trash 82 passing 77 long passing curve is a bit on the low side it actually is really crap because if you guys remember from the previous videos, I said curve is going to be very important after the patch because sometimes you want to curve the pass in so your striker could just tap it in. Um, agility is 63. Holy crap. So even if you do boost agility, it's not going to be good enough. So his agility is 63. So bad. 91 reactions. Oh, so his balance 48. Wow, this guy is going to feel really stiff. Balance, agility, really low. Even his acceleration is low. How slow is he going to be? That's why we really need to pop the Hunter chemistry cell on him. 77 ball control. I think it should be lower <laughs> from watching him in real life. His ball control is so crap. Anyway, 85 dribbling, 87 composure is really high. Um, heading accuracy is 94, which is so important now in the game. Jumping at 6 foot 3, 73 is pretty good. Stamina is decent. Also, 97, basically maxed out strength and aggression is 78. If you guys see stuff in the background, there's just stuff everywhere. You're going to see this for the next couple of weeks until I move. So, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, it's just going to be crazy. I was going to try and challenge Van Dyke, but then I, I uh, hesitated. I don't know why. I should have actually challenged him, see if uh, Lukaku was strong enough. He's offside, right? Yeah, he's offside. Cool. 
could be time. Lukaku, is he on side? He is on side, boys. And there you go. That is one of the things that you need to do with Lukaku. There you go. 89 raid Lukaku doing um, some damage right away in this, in this matchup. Great positioning, makes the runs. I do have um, State Central getting behind. So right now he doesn't feel that bad, but we'll see. We'll see. Lukaku's there, boys. It's going to him. Lukaku! Side netting. I thought maybe, guys, but he's another player that is so dangerous on corners. If you guys have Ibra, he's kind of like that. Very dangerous player. Obviously, he's not as tall, but... Oh my god, that pass was crazy from him. Oh my god, I thought we played that so well. But somehow the keeper saves it. So we do have another corner, which is uh, which basically is a penalty against, with Lukaku. Oh my days, guys. That was so close. Oh my days. His shooting is actually crazy. That's another opportunity where you miss. But look how close and how powerful that shot was. Wow. I couldn't switch to my plays qu uh, quick enough, I don't know why. But this guy played really well. Oh, he has the inform, Gabriel, okay. Didn't even realize that. So, with Lukaku, it's a bit of a weird one, guys. Not much was... I couldn't even do much in this match. Basically, after the one goal, which is what we scored, I think, yeah, we scored a header with him. The guy was able to come back. This match ends as a draw. But in FIFA 17, FIFA 18, I felt like Lukaku was so strong. He was a very viable player to have in your squad. Not too expensive as well. Very fast. Not too bad when you had to move with him. And also, finesse shots were insane. Now, we did get close to scoring a couple of nice shots here. But he doesn't feel that dangerous as previous FIFAs, guys. And this is just from the first match of trying him. He just doesn't feel that dangerous. Maybe we have to try him out in a lone strike formation. Okay, next team we face is a Premier League team with Van Dijk yet again. Check um, SBC. And also, guys, I need to let you know that I did change to a 4-3-2-1 formation where Lukaku is a lone striker alongside Sterling and Lucas. So I want to see if he's better in, in that kind of formation rather than a two-striker formation. I kind of didn't like him too much in that 4 3 one 2 That's a good pass, let's go. Ref. We don't want the pull. We oh no! I want the foul! I want the foul, bring it back to me. What? Wait, why does my Valencia have a yellow card? And his guy didn't get a yellow card after fouling Lucas like that. Which is really weird. To down to Lukaku. Lukaku has to finish that. There we go! We deserve that, boys. We deserve that. Maybe he is a better player in the lone striker formation. Um, I don't know yet. It's, it's a bit too early, but does feel like he's um, a lot more impactful in that sort of situation where he's by himself with two very fast wingers. Let's go, boys. I'm actually starting to think that, yeah, as a lone striker formation, just 30 minutes in, he seems to be a lot more effective, with, especially with the two fast wingers next to him. That was a great finish as well from Lukaku. There we go. Lukaku, Lukaku again, the cause of all that, just takes a shot. And Lucas, I've actually tried him out from the start of the year till now, and he actually wins so many headers, which is weird. Because he's not the tallest of players. I think this guy's Rage Queen. So that is it, basically. Lukaku is actually a decent player in a lone striker formation. I didn't like him too much in a two striker formation. All I'm going to say is if you do try and, um, you know, do through balls or anything like that, make sure you run straight with him and try and make sure you muscle off players. Do not try and turn with him because. As soon as you turn, his touch is so crap, dribbling is so slow, defenders, AI will read it so quickly. There's just no time to do that with him, he's just not agile enough, and his balance just makes him slower. 
So to summarize this informed Lukaku or second informed Lukaku is pace wise he's actually quite fast only in a straight line do not try turning with him like I said if you're you know through walling it to him he's actually quite fast will muscle off a lot of players Van Dyke, he had problems muscling him off then I don't think he actually succeeded even though he has very high strength but we never were able to succeed in muscling off Van Dyke. Um, the weaker defenders, they are going to be, you know, having problems with this Lukaku. Also, um, dribbling with him was so bad, so bad, guys. Turning with him, very bad as well. So that makes him kind of unusable if you're going to be, you know, trying him out and trying to use him in the weekend league. I wouldn't recommend him. He's more of a guy that you would use for, you know, just fun in the fun squad if you're a Man United, you know, fan. If, you, if you're a Lukaku fan, that's the only time I would see you guys using him. But he's not really usable in my opinion. He's just okay um, just to play in, in a fun squad. He has that four-star weak foot, don't forget about that. So his, his right foot is not useless. Not the best of skill moves. And also um, very strong guys. So he did push off so many players, just not, you know, the meta defenders. So overall, guys, he's a decent, you know, decent player. I would give him a 6.5 because I thought he was okay at best, nothing too crazy, nothing too special. Does go for 300k and he's currently extinct at the time I'm making this video, so I wouldn't say he's worth that price, but hey, he just re he was just released, everyone's hyped to try him out after the match. So that's all there is to it guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, hit like button if you did, and hopefully you have a very nice day.